Welcome back, everybody. With inflation rising, the big fear on everybody's mind right now, could a recession be looming? According to a recent CNBC study, six out of 10 Americans believe it's coming in the next year. Yeah, but there are things you can do now to protect your money, no matter your age. So, of course, here to help us recession-proof our finances is Sharon Epperson, CNBC senior personal finance correspondent. How are you this morning? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, folks in your 20s and 30s, I want you to listen to this first question <laughs> because there are things you should be doing now that will help in the future. You're setting your path for your financial future. So it's really important to start with a plan and start with doing things that are going to protect you for the long term. Mm -hmm. Build an emergency fund. You hear this all the time. How do you do it? Try to get 10% of your pay into a savings account. And savings rates are actually going up as interest rates are rising. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, but you may be able to get 1% or more at an online bank. That's a place to start. Everyone's so excited that they haven't had to pay their student loans mm -hmm. for the last couple of years. Well, that repayment pause is going to end at the end of August. And you okay. need to start thinking now of how you're going to budget for that. Typically, it's $400 a month for a student loan payment for the average person. So you want to make sure that you budget for that. Look okay. at income-driven repayment plans. Talk to your loan servicer. And figure out what you can do to make sure you can make those payments. And then as you get into your 30s and you're getting more established in your career, don't forget to continue to build that resume, continue mm. to strengthen your resume. Look at the skills that are really marketable for no matter what industry you're in. And those are soft skills. A lot of hiring managers are saying, we want to know you can communicate. We mm -hmm. want to know that you have time management skills. Incorporate that into your right. resume and network right. with as many people as possible because you just never know. You never know. And in terms of saving for the long term and investing, there's so much uncertainty right now. People are like, do I really need to do this? Should I be in the stock market? Should I be doing Now's this? The yes, time, right? yes, yes, yes. Now's the time, okay. especially if you have decades ahead of you to see that money grow and dip a little right. bit Put and it continue in, to forget grow. about it and exactly. then revisit it in, a, exactly. in several years. Um, we do have a viewer question. This is Reese Dean. Here's what she wants to know. Hi, my name is Reese Dean from Chesapeake, Virginia. And my question is, is when your income and your expenses even out, mm -hmm. how can you pay off your credit card bill? Yeah, that's a Very tough one. Question. You know, you got to either raise your income or lower your expenses. And how do you do that? Well, a lot of people in their 20s, a lot of people, period, are living at home. Mm -hmm. there, we're seeing a rise in multi-generational families. And the reason being, it's cheaper. It can be a mm -hmm. lot cheaper. So think about maybe moving home or living with relatives. Ask your parents to, first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some way to cut your housing mm -hmm. expenses. That's probably one of your biggest expenses. And then in terms of raising your income, what can you do? What's your side hustle? A lot of people mm -hmm. have one. Figure out what yours can be so you can add some income. But you still have that credit card debt. You don't want to keep paying interest on that. So you want to go to a 0% balance transfer card okay. if you can to try to do that. Okay. okay. Well, we've got about two minutes left. We can do this. Okay. So <laughs> for people in their 40s, here's the challenge. You make more probably than you did in your 20s. Yeah. But you've got to, you know, you own your home for a lot of people or rent or they have kids. So it's mm -hmm. hard to save or move forward. Exactly. So you need to be make sure that you're properly insured. Okay. Make sure you have auto insurance, renter's insurance. All the things. The, all the things you need. And then also make sure that you're paying down that credit card debt, whatever your high interest debt is, and you want to make sure you boost your short-term savings. A great way to do that. Look at inflation bonds, I bonds. Hmm. These you can buy directly from the Treasury. They're paying 9.62% interest right Ooh, now. Okay. Right. So you want to go to treasurydirect.gov to find out more about how you can do it. You can put up to $10,000 a year in these I bonds. And the only caveat is you can't take them up the first year. And if you try to there's a, penalty. Penalty. There's a penalty. But that's not a bad idea at all. That's a great idea. Okay. Yeah. All right, you're getting closer fire. to me, so the 80s yes. must be going up. With the 50s <laughs> here now, you want to protect what you have, but you're looking ahead to retirement, yeah. right? You want to be cautious with your spending. One of the best things I recently did was just call places that I have subscriptions to that I'm not using. I got $135 off my August expenses. That's great. Just with do that at any phone age. Call. Exactly. Yeah. Do that at any age. At 50, you can make catch-up contributions with retirement accounts, whether that's an IRA or a 401k. You want to look into that. Make sure you're putting in extra money. If you have it, put it in now. And then also you want to make sure that you're diversifying those long-term savings. Some tax money, pre-tax, and some after-tax. The beauty of the after-tax money or the Roth accounts is that when you take that out in retirement, you don't have to pay any so tax. So look at those Roth accounts. All right. Absolutely. All right, Sharon, for my mom and dad, 60s and beyond, <laughs> 60s, 70s and beyond, uh, God bless them, what can they do to enjoy retirement? Well, one of the things to think about is all the stuff you have, do you still need it? 
consider downsizing. That may be something that you want to do. You also want to increase your stash of cash because mm -hmm. having that emergency fund, you may want to have a year or more if we're looking at an uncertain economic time, the possibility of a recession. See if you can put some of that money in cash. And then you also want to make sure you do have a financial plan and you're test driving it. If you're not retired yet, what's this vacation going to look like? Make it look like what retirement might look mm. like. What would you do? Where would you go? Where would you live? Always the best advice. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Sharon, we love having you here. Thank sure. you. My Thanks. pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, for more on how to manage your money, check out Sharon's advice at today.com. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.